wisdom. A student enrollment. That's what the class of God students enroll in. Supreme wisdom. I study it hard. The study of myself is the study of God. Supreme wisdom. Write your letter, get your X. Supreme wisdom. That's what you'll be getting next. Supreme wisdom. Some call it the lessons, but I call it life actual facts, no guessing. But this is another one. Ann Gibbons, that was in 2007. David uh, Reich was 2016. This is another article from, uh, this is in Science, this is sciencedaily.com. And this, this is, is the University, the of, University of Copenhagen. Copenhagen. This is a summary. New research shows that people, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you read that line with milk? Um, from the eye, color, from all blue eyes, human, humans, Oh, can you start right here? Start, start right here. New research. New, new research shows that people with blue eyes have a similar common ancestry. Okay. Same ancestry. Um, scientists have tracked down a genetic mutation mm -hmm. which took place about 6,000 through 10,000 years ago and is the cause of the, the eye color of all blue-eyed humans alive on the planet, on the planet Earth. On today. The planet today. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, Brother Mel, question. They said all people yeah. with blind eyes have a common ancestor, right? And they said that ancestor was, he lived between 6,000, 10,000 years, years ago from today, right? Yeah. Are your eyes blue? No. Is he your ancestor? Huh. <laughs> Are your eyes blue, Sister Davidson? Is he your ancestor? I mean, he might, we might be carrying a little recessive in this. But the thing about it is that we know we have another ancestor that was more dominant than that one, right? Mm -hmm. Right? All right. Now, I'm gonna skip through some of this because it, it basically says in very high terms, but it's some terms. This was the same. Here we go. Article. Then it says, we, and it said this blue eyes was an actual mutation, right? Mm -hmm. But check out the mechanism of that mutation. It says originally, we all had brown eyes like everybody in this room has today. It says originally we all had blue brown eyes, said Professor Hans Aberg. We gonna surmise from Hans Aberg, you know, we don't look, well, I don't see a Hans Aberg in here. But Hans Aberg from the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine, but a genetic mutation affecting the OCA2 gene. OCA was what? That was long for it. That was albinism, right? That was the mm -hmm. ocular cutaneous albinism. So we even learned what that is. So we up on game. We know what they're talking about. It says that but a genetic mutation affecting the OCA2 gene in our chromosomes, we know what chromosomes are, resulted in the creation of a switch, which right. literally turned off mm -hmm. the ability to produce brown eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, Sister W asked the question, how did they get white? And I've been, I've been pondering at this since the beginning. And I was saying that you originally start off with black and brown. And inside the brown, there's the red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Where did this white come from? And my answer is that this mutation that happened actually turned off the ability to produce those colors. And therefore, what you're left with is white. And so the reason that the white man is not there is because up until that mutation happened, you know, that pigmentation, that, that, that dominant gene had been expressed. So it wasn't until they were able to, Yaku was able to turn off the gene that was responsible for producing pigmentation. And this is how he was able to produce that white man. Is that's how he knew, because you would ask why he didn't go another 200 years. Because when they came out white and they wasn't producing any melanin at all, he was like, I have arrived to something that is unalike. Okay, so going back, wait, oh, I can scroll. So that's the point that I want to get to with that. That's how that mechanism works. At this point, we've just been doing 
abdominal recess, abdominal recess. And at one point, this there was a gene that said it was an on and off switch. And then when two recessive came, the switch flipped off. Got so recessive, so weak that, that it just didn't even. So it wasn't even just working on abdominal recessive. It actually had mutated and start doing what it wasn't even supposed to do, which is turn off. Okay, I want to say something about the genome. The genome, you have certain, what they said, switches. You have what they call codons. Codons are the switches. They go on and go off. 97% of our DNA is turned off. We're only operating what we see of ourselves now only about 3% of the codons being turned on of the whole genome. Okay, what can turn codons on and off? Our environment. That's right, that's right. Okay. But let me check this out. Yes. I'm not finished. Let's, let, let's, let's bring the white man to the witness stand, right? We already said his name is Hans Aberg, right? Right, and we said turn off. That means that the gene that was responsible for even producing melanin in the eyes, when we talk about blue eyes, it was turned off. But let me read further. It says that turned off the ability to produce brown eyes. The OTA2 gene codes for the so-called P protein, which is involved in the production of melanin. melanin. And it says the pigment that gives color to our hair, eyes, and skin, the switch which is located in the gene adjacent to the OCA mm -hmm. does not, however, turn off the gene entirely. It says, but rather limits the action to reducing the production of melanin in the iris, effectively, effectively diluting brown eyes to blue. It says, the switch effect on OCA2 is very specific. Therefore, if the OCA2 gene had been completely destroyed, the gene was destroyed, what did, what did, what did the messages say that Yakub wanted to do? He wanted to wrap that brown germ into his last phase, which was white, and destroy separate and destroy the black. It said gene had been completely destroyed or turned off. Human beings would be without melanin in their hair, eyes, or skin, a condition known as albinism. Yeah. And so therefore when you see somebody who is albino, that means that it's turned off. Their gene has not only been turned off, but they said turned off the, another word they use, completely destroyed. But Caucasians still have that in there because they can produce But at the same eyes. time, it mm -hmm. said that with the AC, I mean the, uh, the ocular albinism, it says the condition strictly affecting the eyes. Right, but white, all white people are not out. But in, in the, it's not, they're not all. Mm -hmm. And I even have pictures of white albinos. But the thing about it is that I'm, I'm pretty sure the thing closest to an albino but that's how it's we a Caucasian. had to produce our albino. We had to, we had to go all the way and get that gene right. albinism to produce them. Okay. So it's not that white people are albino, but we produce them from that that's in right. us. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And now check this out. Now the reference, because this is that was on a that was on like a website for like normal people to look at, because we can understand those words. How but check out this. That was my last slide, and I just want to show you some of these things. Cause I'm going long, but I started late, and that's my fault. But because I was trying to put the stuff together. But it says the journal reference. It says Heinz Aber. This is what we're talking about, and all these other people. It says blue eye color in humans may be caused by a perfectly associated. What's that word? Founder. Mutation in a regulatory element located in the HERC2 gene inhibiting OCA2 expression. Mm -hmm. so they call that a founder mutation. So and I actually have the, that's, I clicked that link and it brought me to this page and I can't, look, just looking at that, you can see all these numbers because mm -hmm. this gets real scientific. Right. So I left, I stayed with this in the actual name of the um, the paper is blue eye color the human may be caused by a perfectly associated founder mutation. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Wisdom say that Yakub is the founder of unalighted trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he is the father of the devil. All right, I have many more things, but I'm not gonna go into that because time's amongst us, but here's more so. Eye color is everyone blue eyes related, how is the possible trait to pass on? They go into that. It's all over the place. It's we easy to find. It's available 
We can. To everybody. So we're going to upload on this. And I have many more. I have another one. Um, but I just want to show y'all that it's not just one place. Here's another different article. 2015, white skin developed in Europe as recently as only 8,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Anthropologists say. So you see the time starting to get closer. And, and closer, now they're doing an and closer, and closer, as opposed yep. to genetically, those are two, two different, different things. Kinds. So this is anthropologists. Anthropologists they deal with, you know, the 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 the, the, the remains mm -hmm. of people who used to live. Geneticists deal with so the DNA. And, and so like what that. we did, we started with the anthropology with Blumenbach. We came up to Mendel with genetics. Mm -hmm. Now we getting the modern day research because Blumenbach and and Mendel. We're like in the 1800s and the 1700s. We all the way up to the modern day. Mm -hmm. Scientists are still proving it and their time is getting closer and closer and closer mm -hmm. to what the messenger says. So who do I believe? I believe the person that was able to measure 10 times and cut once. So in my review slide, because the messenger said he got it from God himself, right? These people, you know, they got it from them, themselves and they keep changing the answer. The messenger gave one answer, he has to change the sense. So in reveal today's lesson, one thing we went over already is that the black man produces four colors, and what are those four colors? Brown, black, I mean brown, red, 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 yellow, and white. That's right. Two, Yakub manufactured water waste through a grafting or a separation process. You went over there, right? You broke down the Punta Square. The Punta Square allows us to separate the genes that we inherit from our parents and come up with a probability of what the offspring will look like, right? And that was called his law of birth control, okay? So we looked at the grafting process through a separation of isolating certain genetic markers and allowing people who share certain recessive traits to mate together, okay? And last, we also went over the fact that bear witness that the grafting process took 6,000 years ago. I mean, the, the grafting process took place 6,000 years ago. Are there any questions? <laughs> uh, man, I sound like them. Thank you. Supreme wisdom. Some call it the lessons, but I call it life. Actual facts, no guessing.